as far as I am concerned, and I do see it as a concern, this is done. This ain't gonna get done, I think. Time. You guys go ahead and head home. You head over here. I need one of these armies to go over there and help with that. Go ahead and get on the ship. Head up here. Anybody need upgraded? Upgrade one ship. How about the gal? Does they need upgraded at all? No. All right. Huh? I guess I'll use the rest of the time just to see what all I can get. Money. Money. As far as I'm saying is, I think this will be the end of it all. I wanted to, I want to go to war with Delhi to take control of East Bengal, but if I do that, public order is just going to collapse. Harsh treatment. Harsh treatment. And that's the only other bad thing is, I knew this would happen once the war ended, and if I would have taken more land from Ming, this probably would be a lot worse than what it is. Oh. Alright. Has it hit the time yet? Take that. To make a generous donation to increase. Oh wait, that's loyalty. That's not the one need. Go ahead and do that. Great monopoly. And diplo support just because I can. Let's go ahead and do this one. Let's go ahead. Let's keep changing the religions. Can I add you to a trade node? Yes. Yes, trade company it up. Trade company it up. Trade company. Trade company. So for any future fights, we're going to have to put focus on getting the ones who are the weakest. Manila. Where's Manila? No, it's over here. I just got to find out which one. There you are. All right. Sucks when you have a whole bunch of Diplo points, but you have nothing to spend it on. Head here, head here. On the other hand, I mean, whenever that fork got taken, that was probably the limit 
I just don't know, because I usually never play in Asia. I'll fight over here and take land, but that's the most I deal with. But I would have to say, I mean, we did pretty well. I mean, first one I ever, first uh, session I've ever decided to record. And overall, I would have to say, 184, are you kidding me? Get on that, you guys get on the ship, you were heading to Manila. I gotta guard Manila. Alright, good. They're not gonna get there in time to stop the, uh, yeah, they're not gonna be there in time to stop that. Alright, hello, this is Demon back. Um, just to let you guys know, when uh, whenever I start recording this bit, uh, the game, for whatever reason, crashes. I kept the recording going as just as it kept going, just so I can not have to worry about OBS. But OBS did not crash, but E4 did. Where you guys will probably see this getting left off at is on the left side. For whatever reason, a couple things were a little glitchy. And it kind of broke the game. <laughs> Not broke, broke, but you understand the idea of it. It, it just kind of glitched out and broke. So we're going to be kind of restarting it a little bit. A few months back, I had to get off an auto save. I do it every, I think it's every year it does it again. So it's probably going to be a little bit of a repeat of what was already happening. Uh, at least is that set up. Yes, okay, good. Uh... That, we still got that. I don't care about Scandinavia, that I do remember. Trade efficiency, do I have that army up there? Good, 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 good. You, get on the ship. You guys are going to Manila. Go guard Manila. So, as I, as I think I was saying before, guys, um, as far as I'm concerned, I think this campaign's done and over with. I'm just going to play it out just to see the end date, just to have it all said and done with. I figure most some YouTubers they kind of stop it at a certain extent where they know it's ending. I want to at least show the ending just so people can look at it and go, oh, okay, so this is what he had. This statistically what went on. Um, I'll pr I'm, I might end up just rewatching the timeline thing for myself just to see everything. Cause I'd like to see it from beginning to end. Cause it, I mean, we had some setbacks at the beginning, um, with especially at Britain. Um, France did a hell of a job beating us up, but through consolidating up in the British Isles to slowly getting the colonies out in uh, the Americas, we did really well financially. We're over 700 ducats in. We're doing great. Um, oh, let's see where that one's at. Okay, so that's where they're at. I actually wanted to see militarily. Did we ever go over our stuff? No. That's really good. Now, one thing I am going to do real quickly, just so I can get it done and over with to complete a mission, is I'm going to build one guy right here. And then I'm going to basically reach my force limit with one guy. It's just going to be infantry, just to build it up rather fast. I know there was a mission, and some people were probably yelling at me to do it. Do it a mission, do it a mission, then you can get Conquest of Ireland, and you can get more of these positive stuffs done. Well, I wasn't too concerned with it, so. We are going to reach our force limit through infantry alone. But we, t wow, we actually don't have the manpower for it. 
How much was our manpower destroyed by by Ming? My God. Well, maybe we aren't doing this. Shiza. Oh wow, our manpower really was hurt. Jesus. I didn't think it was that low. Did not think it was that low. Oh, that's probably why I was having so many times recovering issues. I didn't bother checking that when I was looking at it. <laughs> yeah, that's my fault. Um, again, guys, as time goes, as time's flying by, I'll probably just re-look over everything. I'll probably jump things to speed four and just let time fly. But as I was saying, I mean, we started out as England. We did really well. We had a small push through. Uh, we had to fight France. France beat us up, took a large sum of our territory. Um... We got the win out of it in the end, um, consolidated, uh, slowly pushed our trade war into West Africa. We've gained more and more, um, even having control. At least what I'm happy with is we got some we got some of the gold provinces. Now, those are ones I like. And there goes the military guy. Oh, good. We ended on King George. Do that, do that, do that. I'm not gonna have enough for those two. Oh, we lost treasury. Uh, let's see, let's see. You're Anglican, I like you. Good. Alright. Dead in. Where's this new one at? Really, it's on that island. Did not expect that. Get him over there quick, quickly, quickly. Give them the Admiral, they'll go faster. Oh, they're yeah, making time. Let's get that done, we'll let that get started. What else we got? for Manila. Luckily, I already have people over there, so they'll safeguard it. Um, I really want wants to go again. Who is having high liberty desire? New Britain? Okay, we'll decrease the tariff. There you go, now you're happy. And there we go, we're getting the first set of those done. Alright, they got that covered. Alright then, I guess this will probably finish it with the coring. Um, but again, we got, uh, got beat up, took some colonies in West Africa, slightly expanded our influence. Some people probably would have wanted me to get um, the Caribbean. Um, Trade-wise, the Caribbean is really useful to have because it, can, it does go into the Chesapeake. And then expands further east into the English trade node. But at least for me personally, I've seen more value getting the Chesapeake. I've seen more value getting um, the Gulf of St. Lawrence. What is this? Commonwealth, you sons of bitches. I will join... But my god. Um. I guess give me the god general. I can build a brand new army out here. I got the manpower reserves back for it enough to build another 40k stack. Where is this at? Oh, well, I gotta redo that too. Ah, crap. So, for those who don't like watching me have to do the trade note thing, I apologize. <laughs> Not much I can do in this situation. I was hoping it I was hoping enough time had passed that I didn't have to do this again. But uh I guess this is what we'll finish it off on is we're at War with Bourbon again and I'll put two eighty K two eighty K stacks um in France. We'll see what we can do with them. Again, as far as I'm concerned, we've pretty much we've done most of what I wanted to do. Um, as I was saying with the Caribbean-wise, yeah, it'd be useful, but 
I, f I figured North America has more ac has more value to me, and besides, getting Florida means I get control of the node anyway. Um, at least from what I'm seeing, this uh, that works out. We got Greenland on our side. We were able to get control of a little bit into India. That's something somebody probably would have wanted me to do is probably push further in. I probably could have, but I didn't see any reasons to. I just wanted a piece everywhere. I didn't want to sit there and have to deal with all the other crap as well. A little bit of land, a little bit of influence in the trade node, and then throw it all back to me. That's all I wanted. Nothing more, nothing less. Alright, so that capital's gone. Let's get here. I'm actually really surprised Netherlands never formed. I assumed all the countries in the low countries actually have the ability to do so. I'm just surprised nobody did it. Kill it. At least religion-wise, we are doing pretty well getting rid of most of the... Um, getting rid of the Muslims in our nation. So let's go ahead and get that. I need that other three-star. Where's another three-star? I think you're another three star. There we go. Perfect. So let's go here. You guys go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's too many. Go here. <laughs> Alright, and this will end it. Let's go ahead and just go to speed one. We'll wait for time to go by. Drag this on. More. <laughs> we'll see what happens. 30th of December, 31st of December, and 1st of January. Oh, we got a little bit of extra money. And that's it. Alright. So again, guys, this will be the end of the England campaign for EU4. Um, as I was saying, we did pretty well. I mean, I mean, I kind of was trying to go over a rough overview. But I wasn't expecting the Commonwealth to finish us off on a war. Um, thing is, always could continue the game see how much further I can drag it on, but I don't see a point. Yeah, I mean, you got to reach an ending for these games eventually. You can't just keep making yourself play. It, it would suck if you just keep trying to make yourself play into something like this. As, mu as much fun as I would have. I'm not looking to get World Conquest. I'm not looking to gain any of that. I'm just looking to play basic game for some fun and entertainment. Um, as I was saying, I'm not too sure what I'm going to play in the future. Um... I know there are some new games that are out. I did get the new Assassin's Creed. I was considering maybe trying to record some stuff for that, but in the end I kind of decided not to. Um, I don't find that game... That game seems like it's fun to gain to play offline, or maybe streaming it. But it doesn't seem like it'd be that fun recording it, because you would have to be pretty devoted and know what you're doing to, like, go, I'm doing this mission, blah, 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 and record. My system's kind of set up pretty good for an EU4 game like this. Um, I know there's other games coming out later this month. I know Battlefield comes out, but I'm probably going to end up just buying it on my console, but I don't have any way of really streaming it. Um, I kind of can, but it doesn't have much value in doing so, because it might just lag everything I'm doing out. Um, I'll, I'll consider it when it comes out. I know Fallout 76 comes out next month. Now, that's a game I'm more than likely going to stream, just because I think it'll be hilarious to play. Then, if I get my buddies to play, we usually can cause a little bit of chaos. Um, other things for this game, at least, is I kind of want to do... I don't know if I want to do a custom game. I said I didn't want to stream um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but I kept wondering if maybe I should do, like, start up a Sparta custom nation, play down here. I just haven't decided yet if I'm, what I'm going to do with that, because if I do make a Sparta one, it would be fun, but I don't know how well it would work out. I've played in the Balkans before, I've been Byzantine, actually did well as the Byzantines, and then had to deal with the rest of Europe hating me because of the orthodoxy. So I don't know if I'm going to, if I play as Sparta, what I'm going to play as yet. Because more than likely what I would end up doing is, I don't want to make myself too powerful. 
Because I know if I do that, a lot of people are going to go, oh, you make yourself overpowered, you're going to win no matter what. It's just... But you got to be realistic. These are the Ottomans you are fighting. Anybody who's played this game knows how powerful the Ottomans are. The most I was thinking about was like taking like what is considered mainland Greece and then getting up to next to the Byzantines. Getting the Aegean Islands and Crete. And I think that'd be it. I would be probably within equal par of fighting the uh, Ottomans. I just don't know how well it would go. At least religion-wise, I think I was going to end up going Catholic. And it's be the only reason why I would think Catholic is because Sparta would probably hate the Byzantines. So if they rose up and fought, I was like, they're probably not going to be something that the Byzantines are, which is orthodoxy. But I, I don't know. I haven't decided that yet. On the other hand, I did get a new mod for the Steam Workshop, and it lets you play as the Palinate, but for some reason somebody named it the Palpatine, and you get a 666 leader. <laughs> now, if anybody sits there and says it, yeah, he would ease a mortal, he doesn't die, but I like the meme, and it sounds funny. And I've never played as a smaller country in the HRE before, so I don't know if I'd want to do that and test it first, and maybe do it in the future, or if I want to play it, and just record it and see how well it goes. Because I know, for, at least for this one, I played this one on easy for difficulty. The next one I would like to play it on normal. So if I did the custom nation, you couldn't complain to me about it that much. Because I'm not going to have any advantages in it. It's going to be pretty much whoever gets the Balkans gets the Balkans. So there's always that. I could always go and do a base game in like, I don't know. I could always play in Iberia, play like Castile or something, make Spain. Um, I can always try playing Italy again, play as Brandenburg, or hell, I could probably play as Sweden, see how well I do with them, but I don't know, I'd have to think, I'd really have to think about it. Another one I was thinking was, um, Poland, since they did the, I think, one of the, I think the most recent, uh, hotfix they brought out was for, or most recent update was for them, so that was another country I was thinking about, so, um, I'll, I'll, I'll consider it. I'll, I'll think about it. I don't know if I want to keep recording this game, or maybe I could do another game. Because EU4, it does have a lot of potential. There's a lot of mods out there that give you a lot of randomness that can happen. I know one of my buddies does have the game. I think I made mention of it in other videos. But I think I have to wait at least until the Steam sale kicks in before he would be willing to buy anything. If I got lucky and the Dharma DLC went on part of the winter sale, that would be nice. I just don't know when the sale's kicking in, and I don't know if Dharma's been too recent, so they may not put a good sale on it. If they, if, I mean, if they did 25%, I more than likely will buy it, seeing as I do have a little bit of Steam money on my, on my account now to get it, so we'll find out, we'll find out. Um, so, as always guys, if you have been enjoying the content, you enjoyed this Mighty EU4 campaign as, uh, England, I would say please like and subscribe if you were enjoying the videos and content, and, and as of course guys, thank you ever so much for watching, and, and of course, have a very good day, and I will try to remember to cut out the pieces where I had to wait a few minutes to get the recording back up just to end this. <laughs> So again, thank you again.